Hello and welcome to the Hoof GP. Today we're talking about something that has a massive impact on cows' hoof health. We're talking about environment. So hoof trimming obviously plays an absolutely massive and important role when it comes to cows hoof health and how comfortable they are day to day and we can make a massive impact on how comfortable the cows are in our care by hoof trimming but one of the huge 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 factors that comes into play on farms when it comes to the whole lot of the cows is environment environment has a massive impact on how well the cows feed are performing for those cows. So we're gonna take a much, much closer look at environment today. Rubber floorings like the type you get from Easy Fix can have a huge and very dramatic effect on good hoof health. They can prevent white lines from being torn apart when the cows are turning and twisting corners. During periods of long standing, they can stop sole fractures from emerging and these types of floorings can dramatically reduce the amount of ulcers you're getting in your cow's feet. This parlour has it on the apron, actually in the parlour and all the way through the exit. The building we're in right now is a much older building. It's got fairly narrow passageways here for the feed rail and it's got straight up and down feed rails. These present lots of different problems for different reasons. So let's take a look at a newer building and see why it's much better than this one. In this newer shed, the feed rails are actually angled and that helps the cow reach down to the food much more easily so they're not pushing forward with their feet. Pushing forward with their front feet can actually start a corkscrew claw, which is when the claw rotates. It also leads to cracking on the white line and it's just not good for the cows, is it? Now that we're in this much newer cow shed, you can see when a cow backs out of the cubicle, she doesn't have to screw around on her feet, so it's not tearing that wall horn away from the sole horn. They have plenty of room to be able to back out and walk forward. Cows weren't designed to turn tight corners. In old style buildings, a lot of the time the slats are uneven and they're wonky or they're slippy or they're different heights and levels and that presents a massive problem for white line lesions because of slips and trips and cows walking on uneven surfaces. And that's why this farmer is going to huge lengths to alleviate the problem. He has ripped out all of his old uneven twisted and bumpy slats and he's actually completely put new slats in that are perfectly level and smooth and that's so the cows have much firmer footings and it can have a major impact on reducing problems in cows white lines. This floor is concrete grooved which provides loads and loads of grip for the cows laterally as they're walking along. So A they don't do the splits which is when their legs basically go wide apart at the back which is a major, major problem for these cows. And B, they don't slip and trip into things, which would cause bruising and the white line, which eventually would cause a white line defect, problem, abscess, whatever you want to call it. I think she likes me. The cleaner the environment the cows live in, the better. Believe it or not, cows being dirty can actually lead to sole fractures as well because the dirtier a cow is, the less she is able to dissipate heat. So she will stand up more and more, putting excess pressure on the inside claw, the medial one, which again would cause sole fractures. These cows love me. The cubicles. Most farms in Scotland have what's called free stall barns in America and that's basically when there are cubicles that these cows can wander in and out of as they please and the size of these cubicles has a major impact on a thing called sole fractures. If these cubicles aren't placed correctly, the cow will stand with her feet in the passageway and that puts a huge amount of pressure on the inside or the medial claw and eventually the sole will actually start to snap apart or crack apart and that is when a sole fracture is formed. It's incredibly painful for the cow and it's actually really easily, it's actually really, really easily fixed. But the better way to deal with it is make sure the cubicles are set correctly so that the cows can stand with their back feet up here, nice and comfortable. You see these cubicles here are perfectly set. You can see all three of these cows are standing with their back feet in the cubicles, which means that the head rail, or the bit that stops them standing too far forward, is set absolutely perfectly. These cows never suffer with sole fractures in their medial claws, and this is why. 
airflow. This shed has really open sides. It has Yorkshire boarding, which is basically the slats on the end of the shed, and that is to increase airflow. And that, again, helps with cow standing times. Cows, when they lie down, can't dissipate heat very well at all because there's so much body in contact with the ground. So they stand up to cool down. And all this standing up leads to foot problems. It's important that the ground the cows are walking on is as clean as possible at all times. But obviously, you can't keep it perfectly clean. They are cows after all, and they produce a lot of manure a day. Automatic scrapers are awesome if they run well enough and often enough because excess water or excess moisture in a cow's foot is not good at all. It leads to dermatitis, it can have a real impact on the quality of horn on their feet and can lead to foul in the foot. Sheds need to be properly stocked. If they're overstocked, it basically means that some of the cows will be standing for way too long, which again has impact on their feet, sole fractures, sole ulcers, all that kind of thing. And it means the feed barrier will be a very busy place. So there will be lots of jostling and bullying, which again puts pressure on the white line because of excess pushing to get into position. Cows are incredibly inquisitive creatures and in the right settings, they'll come up and happily play away with you like this. And it's a sign of great confidence. So you know the cows are really well looked after. It's really important that walkways like this to and from the parlour or even just around the sheds are completely clear so that there's no scrapers, there's no steps, there's no undulations so that the cows can just walk naturally along without having to avoid anything. And when you are moving cows along even places like this, you need to move them slowly and calmly because cows want to pick exactly where they want to place each foot. These cubicles have cow mattresses in it. Yep, you heard right, mattresses. And having mattresses like this means it's extremely comfortable for the cows to lie down. And again, you guessed it, that reduces standing times, which again has a really positive impact on the cow's foot health. I could probably sleep here actually. This is called an igloo or calf igloo. And these provide fantastic houses for calves like this. And this one is a large one, so there are five calves who are really scared of me right now. It's really nice and dry, so the straw is nice and crisp, so it keeps them warm when they're lying down, but also, it's really dry on their feet. It's so important that their feet are dry, otherwise they can end up having foul in the foot, which is really incredibly painful, and the worst possible way these calves, or future cows, could start their lives. I better leave, because they look scared. And by the way, they do have lots of room. See? It's important that calves' hoof horn dries out properly. If they were in wet conditions, the hoof horn would never form properly and the hoof capsule would actually be compromised. Automatic scrapers are fantastic for keeping the place clean and tidy and free from excess moisture. The only trouble is that they need, need, need to be run often enough. Otherwise, what happens is a big accumulation of slurry or manure forms behind or in front of that scraper and that basically ends up in a tsunami of slurry coating the cow's feet and dermatitis loves poo covered feet you can see how nice and clean this concrete is that cow's feet are not in manure in any way whatsoever she looks happy too these are head rails and they stop the cows coming forward too far in the cubicles because basically you want them to poo into the alleyway and not into the cubicle. It's so important that these are set perfectly. So guys, environment for cows hoof health is number one. It is so unbelievably important, it really, really is. And maybe it's something that I don't talk about enough on this channel. You can do so many things to your farms to improve your cow's foot health, it's really not true. If you have any specific problems or anything like that, feel free to contact me on Facebook or Instagram and ask me any questions over there. These guys here, I've got loads of questions, so I'm gonna have to go right now and have a proper chat to them. In the meantime, make sure you've hit that subscribe button, guys, and give this video a big thumbs up. Cheers, guys, bye. This morning I was so clear a lot as I need To see the horizon and the far Excuses were two for a penny but they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face